Today we are bringing all of the MMA news from the week straight to you with timestamps, by the way, if you'd like to skip to any particular part of the video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle, I am your guy with too many YouTube channels, and welcome back to everything that you missed in MMA this week. Again, guys, like I just said, so we bring you all the news, and again, timestamps will be there if you'd like to skip to any particular part. Let's get into the first topic for today. And that being some leaked messages from Dana White, oh my god, is this crazy. So. I don't know why this got released, and I'm not going to show you because I don't know where this came from. I think it's MMA Fighting SM. Regardless, I will read you the text right here, and it's absolutely insane. So, Dana White's private text to the Fertitta, to Fertitta, excuse me, about John Jones. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> this, is, this is hilarious. So, the holdup, according to White, was that Jones wanted to fight Daniel Cormier next instead of Gustafson, and negotiations on a contract extension were snagged on detail. Jones would not sign. This is what he had to say. What's up with Jones? Did he straighten up or is he still being a scumbag? That's what White texted to Fertitta in a message and Fertitta responded, still a douche, but we're inching closer. Haven't moved on money, but sent a letter with an ultimatum. And Dana White said, awesome. Fuck that punk. He needs to know that we don't need him or he will fuck us over more than he already does. This is in." Same to me. That is crazy. So there's a little bit more to this. And the reply to that was you wanted Mr. Fertitta to let Mr. Jones know what the UFC didn't need him. And that somebody else is asked Dana White that question. Dana White just said yes to that and be a scumbag in negotiations. No, Dana White responded. Do you know John Jones's history just to be a scumbag in life? I mean, you could get pretty much every guy who works for me to testify that. Yes, I was not happy with John Jones's life choices. Who boy. Yeah, I've always kind of assumed he was a little bit of a nightmare to deal with. It doesn't take rocket science to know that if you follow UFC, but I know a lot of people, a lot of fans are blinded by the person that John Jones is because he's the greatest of all time and cheat greatest of all time, but that's crazy. It's not shocking to me, to be honest with you, that Dana White really dislikes John Jones and probably still does <laughs> because, of course, the Gustafson fight was a very long time ago. It's just crazy that this came out. I actually don't know to be honest with you, how this got released. Next up, I want to take you guys over to Reddit right now because this was one of the most trending posts in the UFC subreddit this week is where we always take a look. We like to take a look at what the MMA community has been talking about and what's been going viral. So what did go viral is this girl is a damn Chad. And a lot of people have been talking about Mayra Bueno Silva this time because actually for this and plus a little thing with Sean Strickland I might mention. So this is what she had to say. Look, on paper, my fight with Raquel is not a good fight. But on paper, Sean Strickland and Jerkis Duplessis is a good fight. No, Sean talks too much. He thinks he's a big star, but he's a, but he's not a big star. I believe my fight and Sean's fight, one helps the other. On paper, two bad fights for the fans. But when we enter the octagon, I do a good fight and Duplessis does a good fights too. I don't want to watch good fights from Sean Strickland. I don't remember a good fight. That is crazy. So what a lot of people are really liking about Mayra Bueno Silva is that she is admitting that nobody wants to see the fight while you have... Raquel Pennington, on the other hand, just sitting here going, what's not to like about this fight? We have the two best going at it. You know, of course, I'm paraphrasing, but she's hyping up this fight like crazy. Is she wrong for that? Not really. But at the end of the day, this girl is real, right? So that's why the community has been happy with her lately. Next up, guys, outside of UFC news, the PFL and Bellator Supercard has officially been announced. And this is extremely exciting to me as, as somebody who is just getting into the PFL and somebody who's been a big fan of Bellator for a very long time. This is an amazing, amazing card. Does it stack up to the UFC? No, of course. It doesn't stack up to any of the big fights the UFC's been putting on, but this is going to be really cool to watch. We have Ryan Bader on the card, Johnny Eblen, Jason Jackson, Patricio Pitbull, Tiago Santos, Yoel Romero, Clay Collard, AJ McGee. There is a lot of really great fights on this card, and honestly, it's a must-watch, and it's going to be in the afternoon, so we're going to have this and a UFC card after this. This is insane. This is really really fun in my opinion. I'm I'm really hyped to see this entire card. It's going to be a great day of fights, that one. Next up, guys, back to Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland has been involved in a lot of drama because now that he's in Canada, he's had press conferences and he, I have to be very careful with my words because I am in Canada myself. Believe it or not, they are very strict on the type of stuff you can talk about. So I'm going to lightly graze over this and that being Somebody from Toronto, the Toronto media, asked Sean Strickland what he thinks about a certain community, and Sean Strickland was a little bit upset by that, and now a lot of people in Canada are calling for Sean Strickland to be stripped, and it got a little bit spearheaded by a media member, but the rest of the world's like, what's going on, Canada? Why are you talking like this? And then Canada just doesn't really have anything but insulting them a little bit, you know what I mean? So apologies that I had to scrape over this a little bit, but Sean Strickland 
and just is completely being himself. And he is coming into Canada, having the press conference, and not holding back one little bit. I highly suggest you check out the check out the press conference. It was quite interesting. Next up, guys, I do want to bring you all of the fight announcements for this week. So we actually had a little bit of a low day for fight announcements last time. We had like over 30 fight announcements. If you're interested, go check out that video, by the way, because there was a lot of fights to get to. So, great fights, though. Muhammad Usman versus Chris Barnett on March 23rd. Amanda Lemos versus Mackenzie Dern. Tatiana Suarez pulled out. Kennedy Nizachukwu versus Ovin St. Peru on March 16th. Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway on UFC 300. Jim Miller versus Bobby Green on UFC 300. Excuse me there. These are all fantastic fights. Justin versus Max and Miller versus Green being on UFC 300 is amazing. I'm particularly very happy that Jim Miller is going to be on UFC 300. I ho I was hoping so much that that's the case. And it looks like Miller's healthy because he already got cleared to fight. Absolutely amazing. Chris Barnett returning too. That's hype. All of these fights, even Amanda Lamotion with Kenzie Dern isn't bad. All of these fights I'm excited for. And guys, for fights to watch this weekend, of course, the only one really, you have a bunch of small organizations, but at the same time, UFC is really the only card that you'll be really wanting to watch this weekend. UFC 297 is, of course, at 6 p.m., starting with the early prelims tomorrow, and it's going to be a fantastic card in Canada. Canadian fans are absolutely awesome. There's a lot you can say about Canada, but what you can't say is that the fans don't make the event better. They're always cheering for their fighters. The last Canadian card was fantastic. I'm excited for it. You'll see 297 is going to be a banger. Speaking of bangers, though, I have a banger video for you to check out, guys. Not being the complete betting guide for UFC 297. Check it out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Take care.